Caitlin Clark is the golden goose. Not most, not all, but some people spent some time resenting her for it. Cheryl Seuss was one of those people. As controversial Caitlin Clark prediction comes true, Stephen A. Smith reignites Cheryl Swoops beef. Even though Caitlin Clark and the Indiana Fever face an early exit in the first round of the playoffs, the buzz around the generational talent hasn't faded. In fact, her absence has been linked to a dip in WNBA ratings, keeping her very much in the spotlight. With Caitlin Clark, you find yourself watching the league as well stated Stephen A. Smith earlier who has been vocal to Fever rookie throughout. Now, with her impact on playoff ratings evident, he couldn't resist taking a jab at one of her regular critics, Cheryl Swoops. Recently, ESPN analyst Stephen A. Smith took to his YouTube channel to delve into the significant drop in WNBA ratings following Clark's departure from the playoffs. He pointed out that while the viewership for the Liberty vs. Aces matchup was decent, I bet Brianna Stewart dropping 34 in game one was sensational. I'm rooting for the Liberty. I never root against Becky Hammond and the Las Vegas Aces. But their number might be up. I'm going to say that. Staying with the WNBA playoffs, let's stay here. Let's just say the ratings aren't the same with Caitlin Clark and the Indiana Fever now eliminated. Game one of the Aces Liberty matchup on Sunday drew an average of 929,000 viewers. It still fell it's short of the impressive w number seen when Clark faced off against the Sun Smith didn't hold back, declaring Clark a golden goose for the league. But he didn't stop there and stirred the pot, referencing previous criticisms from Cheryl Swoops regarding Clark's performance. Caitlin Clark is a golden goose. Not most, not all, but some people spent some time resenting her for. It's Cheryl Swoops was one of those people. Want to give shine. You want to give love to others other than her Clark. Just say what you truly feel, stated the ESPN analyst. This isn't the first time Smith has challenged the WNBA legend for not giving Clark the acknowledgement she deserves. Cheryl Swoops, take notes. You ain't playing no more. You're a Hall of Famer and a champion and a basketball savant. You know good and damn well. You had no business talking about the Indiana Fever without mentioning Caitlin Clark. Smith had said after the Houston Comet star had left out Clark's name while discussing Fever's growth in August. A row had followed between them on social media, with Swoops even calling him a coward and declaring she was ready to go on his show to discuss more. Nothing followed, though, but it's hard to deny that Swoops has consistently downplayed Clark's influence on the game. Back in July, the retired Houston legend made headlines when she remarked that the Indiana Fever's playoff chances wouldn't be affected by Clark's presence. Instead, she chose to highlight the performance of Katie Lou Samuelson. While Swoops has openly praised other rookies, such as Clark's rival Angel Reese and Rick Kia Jackson from the Los Angeles Sparks, her acknowledgments of Clark's talent seem to be few and far between. While Stephen A. Smith may have taken a shot at Cheryl Swoops, he has every reason to feel confident about his earlier predictions regarding Caitlin Clark's impact on the league. Stephen A. Smith's predictions about Caitlin Clark's popularity mirror the crashing WNBA ratings. The WNBA playoffs have recently drawn attention, especially after Game 1 between the Liberty and the Aces set records for a semifinal matchup. Despite the excitement, the viewership still fell short of the numbers generated by Caitlin Clark's final playoff game. According to Nielsen, the semifinal attracted 929,000 viewers and peaked at 1.2 million, marking it as the most watched semifinal in the last 22 years. However, Clark's last playoff appearance made waves with an impressive 2.54 million viewers, a staggering figure that far eclipsed the recent semifinal record. While this staggering figure might have raised a few eyebrows, it certainly wouldn't have caught Stephen A. Smith off guard. He has been vocal about Clark's influence on the league, stating that she is a key reason why fans are tuning in. After the Fever's playoff elimination, media outlets, including ESPN, highlighted Caitlin Clark's impressive rookie season. A notable segment compared her WNBA stats to icons like Simone Biles and Serena Williams under the headline, Trailblazing Athletes, sparking debate about whether it's fair to place her alongside such legends. 
However, ESPN analyst Smith supported her inclusion in this conversation, arguing that, like Biles and Williams, Clark has drawn significant attention to the league, making fans eager to see her compete. With Serena, you were watching her. With Simone Biles, you were watching her. Caitlin Clark got you watching the league because it wasn't just her. You wanted to see who eventually she was going to end up going against, stated Smith. True to his predictions, the effects of Caitlin Clark's absence are becoming increasingly evident as WNBA ratings have noticeably dropped following the Fever's elimination. With Stephen A. Smith bringing up Cheryl Swoop's previous comments once again, it seems like another clash between the two might be brewing. The WNBA playoffs, let's stay here. Let's just say the ratings aren't the same with Caitlin Clark and the Indiana Fever now eliminated. Game one of the Aces Liberty matchup on Sunday drew an average of 929,000 viewers. It's a good number for the WNBA on an NFL Sunday. However, that was down nearly 50% from last Sunday's Fever Sun contest. By the way, not only was viewership down, but attendance was as well. Do you want me to just say I told you so, or are you willing to say Stephen A? You did tell us. Really? Caitlin Clark is the Golden Goose. Not most, not all, but some people spent some time resenting her for it. Cheryl Seuss was one of those people. You want to give shine, you want to give love to others other than her. Just say what you truly feel. Sisters, black women, who were absolutely positively fantastic in helping to build the WNBA, did not receive the shine, the acclaim, the allure, the attention, the marketing, and everything else with it that they richly deserved. And there are very, very few people, but there are some out there who resent the fact that this young white girl came out there and did her thing. Rookie of the year, fourth in the league for MVP voting, assist leader, one of the top leading scorers after the Olympic Games. She put on a show validating all the attention she was receiving. A rising tide lifts all boats. If folks were more receptive to it, even more moments would have arrived. I still contend Caitlin Clark should have been on Team USA. Imagine the international, the global audience that would have followed her. But folks missed it because of feelings, not business. That's all I have to say about that. If you've made it this far and are enjoying the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on all notifications. We know watching this video takes some of your time, and we truly appreciate you sticking with us. Your support helps us bring you more great content.